Hello, Glacier, Hollow Knight. In the last part, we uh, beat the first boss and explored a lot of World 1. And uh, we ruined our damageless playthrough. <laughs> um, so in this part, we're apparently going to stare at black as the game loads back up. Okay, we did it. We beat the blackness. Let's see, we also got a variety of mapping materials. What's over here? Oh, the way you originally fall in. I actually kind of want to fall in that way again, though. Because I want to be at the top rather than where the creature carries you to. Yeah, because I have unexplored rooms up here. See, did I actually get anything at the Ancestral Mound after defeating the boss? I don't think I got a new power or anything. Maybe that boss was actually just for money. Oh right, I can't double jump. I'm not playing Copy Kitty anymore. I just finished recording Copy Kitty episode 8. <laughs> I'm also probably going to try to shoot something with the bulky beam. Temple of the Black Egg. Well, there sure is a black egg here. I still can't double jump. Um, I wonder if this is kind of like um, the Golden Four statues in Super Metroid, where it'll be relevant after I've killed bosses with those masks. Fighting from above enemies just feels safer. As long as you time all your attacks. Gotta get Toad in here to be like, watch out, he knows about timed attacks. Yes, I do mean Toad from Mario. Oh boy, you are big. Whoa. Ow! I don't think I have a way to fight that guy. If I had some sort of like dash that I could get behind him with, maybe? I wonder if we can walk through enemies if they're not doing an attack. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. See, right now I'm somewhere. I kinda want that compass now. But it, like it has a notch cost. Which I believe I believe notches are like equipment slots. Thinking back to the little bit I've seen of somebody else playing this game. <laughs> I like that due to the way the soul meter works, basically every enemy in the game drops health. Yeah, those giant slams by that one enemy that I ran away from, I think they came out a little too fast to really try to bait one and then go in and then hit him. I feel like my pogoing practice will probably pay off eventually. That was a lot of P words. Bugling practice probably pays off. I'm super greedy for all the money. And I can't rescue that worm now. Boki would be able to reach it. <laughs> Okay, but we're playing Hollow Knight. <laughs> and to think of it, because Savant could reach it too, because he can fly. 
Imagine starting in Metroidvania where you can fly. I guess I have played one of those, actually. It's called Hero Core. Wait, I'm in this room. The room you get to if you go left immediately from the big drop. Yeah, can I get back into the Ancestral Mound? I feel as if I may have missed something there. I think it was this way. Well, I can at least use a bench and update my map. Alright, was this... Enter? I think I missed that before. I don't remember a uh, rear exit. Also, I don't remember this bench, come to think of it. Listen. Uh, who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange empty face, and a w wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you into Hello Nest's corpse, but I want to ask what? Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Say no more, I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's perfect for a little one like you. Consumed the vengeful spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul. Yes, we know this. Oh. Oh, you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but, I, but it seemed to have slipped away myself. Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor, not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with the small favor, my friends. Laughter. Alright. So yeah, instead of holding B to recover health, you tap it. But watch your magic meter. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could have broken the glass on that worm with Vengeful Spirit, or if it has to be your... Uh, whatever the main weapon's called. Uh, no. How do I pull up the inventory? The old nail! Yeah. Out of magic. Oop. Getting bodied by this thing. Because my pogoing was not up to the task that time. I messed it up. Oops! Okay, that doesn't kill us outright. But the way the screen fit, oops. You can't double jump still. The way the screen faded out, I did think I was dead. Right, I'd like to fight you over here. Maybe I wouldn't. Okay, that enemy rolled off. That's fine. Oh, nice. Soul Factory. Oh, but it wor it ran out. Right. What was down here? Ow. Yeah, I'm out of soul already. trying to heal. Alright, we're getting used to him.
Got him. What's this? Soul Catcher. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Got an achievement. Charmed. Oh, so it's done. You've slain the beast. The poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, it had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Look, the gate between us is opened. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Alright, so there was a bench here. We can equip our charm. Open the charms menu with back. It costs two notches. Draw allows you to draw more soul. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy. Okay, but there was a passage to the left, wasn't there? Up here? I'm just gonna go around while all the stuff is still dead. Because I uh, believe I missed something. Oh, like this money. We got one coin. Or whatever they're called. Cluster? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, what was off to the left here? Does it... It continues, right? Didn't want to fight that enemy in such a narrow passage. Oof. Wow. Is somebody using a sanguine blade? Because that was sloppy. I mean, what? So it looks like the reason to do this room is piles of cash. Also, I guess you get these soul hearts. Oh! Lose them immediately because you get surprised by an enemy that fell down in an area that you thought was safe. I apparently have lost object permanence. And I might as well rest again. I know it destroys the soul heart, but... Alright. So perhaps with our fearsome new ability, we could kill that enemy in the top right. Um... Let's see. So yeah, let's proceed right. I actually want to go up through the room over here, though. Because I want to see if I can break that glass um, container around the friendly worm thing. At least I assume it's friendly. I'm trying to free them, so it must be my friend, right? Okay, you can upstrike without being in the air. I'm not sure I knew that. Alright. It's like in this room. The mistiming. Uh, time to heal up. <laughs> oh, it doesn't do it. Okay. Good to know. rather violent. Oh. Then I, uh, failed to hit the enemy, so I uh, wasn't in the air as long as I thought I would be. Wait, where am I? I fear I've lost track of where I am on the map. 
But here's where I fought the guy, right? Or rather, where I retreated. Yeah. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, you actually can fight him without ranged snacks. It's not that hard. He was just surprisingly fast for... for a regular enemy. Made me feel a little not confident about success. I don't think I've gone this way yet. The lighting in this room certainly seems a little off. I've definitely not seen these purple crystals. Oh, oh I can heal up. Sort of guessing that miner is an enemy? No, you can listen to it. Okay. Hello again, are you still running about? Why not join me down here? There's just plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair bit, but I have a feeling there's something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper and can smell it. Welcome to join us. There's enough for both of us. If you don't feel like digging, you can sit and sing with me. Seems my uh, weapon isn't up to the task. Nothing hidden there. I don't know, it seems like the sort of thing that would like light up if you actually walked into it. Hmm. Ruckus little rock stand. Why did I do such a thing? I don't know, sometimes I just like tapping the attack button. Hmm. Well, if I want to go down, I can probably stand on these rocks for a few seconds. Or walk around on them. stop walking there. It's just a little... Um, inconsistency in the height of the ground there, I guess. Alright, this doesn't seem to be doing anything, but I don't have a map for this area. Okay, well, let's investigate elsewhere. If there is something I can do here, it's not apparent to me. I need this ranged attack then. I mean, it's the power I got for the first boss. So surely it has a use somewhere. I mean, it's pretty good at killing enemies, I'll give it that. How did a corpse end up up there? Yeah, I think if I go through this way... Well, actually, I want to take the lower path to re-examine why I didn't take those other pathways. See, I remember I couldn't make a jump down and left from here. Which I do not believe will be solved by having a ranged attack. But why did I not go up and right? Is it just because I chose a different path? Oh, a bench. I'll take that. The map is updated. <coughs> Not quite.
question is, am I going to edit any of this episode? I feel like I've at least been constantly exploring new things. Well, fairly constantly. Oh, this... I was about to start healing, and I realized that enemy was going to start flying at me, so I let go of the button, which caused me to shoot. On this way before. Yes, I recognize the setup. Okay, so now I believe I'm in the room at the bottom right of the map. And this is the room where I got blocked off by gates that there's probably a switch for. I think it's probably to open up a shortcut to the first boss or something. No? Exactly what room am I in? Like, if I climb upward, I should at least run into those gates, right? Ah, and there's the switch. Did it. So, uh, this should be something I haven't been to before. Oh boy. I uh, may want to light source before I mess with this any further. Well, seems that I can't do anything anyway. Yeah, here's the next rightward exit. Direct. Maybe I should have learned how to fight that enemy while it was relatively safe. Eh, it's not hard. Okay, if I go this way, there are dots. Got it. it looks like some sort of car on a rail, actually. Oh, there's spikes there. Oh. That's not how you jump over spikes, it turns out. So, I mean, we we need a short jump, because there are spikes on the ceiling, too. But, like, just not that short a jump. And I did it all for cash. Oop. I expected to make the jump to that platform. Oh, that's a miss. Uh, <laughs> Getting swarmed a bit. It's fine, we'll just zone into the next room and heal. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here that'll hit me. Inspect. A door with an open slot. Uh... Okay. I guess riding it is the only way to get that door to open. Oh, hey, gosh. So, uh, interesting, but useless. For now. Oh, I wrecked the sign. What do I still need to- oh, the, yeah, there's a hole there. But there wasn't a rightward exit, so... I had no reason to jump over the hole. Um, yeah, what do I still need to buy? There's like more mapping supplies. Alright, where will I be if I go left from here? I've lost track of where I am on the map yet again. Maybe I need that compass. I have a spare notch anyway. Are you... That was mean of me. seem too hard. Oh, 
Got him. Oh, but there's a phase two, isn't there? The doors haven't opened. Yeah, just some normal enemies. They bounce around the room in a slightly less aggressive fashion. Killed all its children. Alright. So can't do anything in that direction. Uh, but perhaps I get yet another ability here. Oh, you wield your nail like a club, you oaf. As me, how much deeper do we have to go? What? Who are you? See, this old village would a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live in an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Okay. So perhaps he's another shopkeeper or something? Yep. Hmm. Oh! So the rocks in the other room, you deal with them by breaking a wooden support under them. Anyway, we'd best get back to Dirtmouth. And I think I'll talk with him there, and that'll be the end of the episode. No. I feel like I didn't get as much done as last time, even though I explored, like, a good number of rooms. Alright. I don't think I've been left of here, though. I'm curious. Buildings. Okay. Well, let's get back to the tram as fast as we can. Yeah, let's heal up, though. We'll take the time to do that. Oh, I apparently went the wrong way, but there's money here. I want to go this way. And then the first left, I think. No, it'll be the second left? Where is fast travel? I think it's this way. This is this room? Was I perhaps farther? No, this is a different room. I was perhaps farther to the right than I thought or something? I don't know. Oh, this was the first boss room. I guess that tells me where I am. At this point, I'll just climb. No, you can't climb back up to town. There's a big fall. I need to actually find the tram. I'm gonna fight one of these that I you normally get to jump over it. Oops. We get 45 money. Worth it. Alright, I'm definitely running out of episode time. So maybe it was this way. Oh, there's even a little sign, but I don't know what the symbols in this game mean. I, mean, I could end here, but I really want to actually get something done. I mean, we've killed two bosses and got a new power, but like, God, you know, I want to get something done.
They were like minor bosses. I think one of them didn't even have a name. Just the creature that guy wanted me to kill after giving me the spell. Alright, was this building open before? Yes. It's the shop we already knew about. It's this building. Hey there, guy. What do you have? Okay, you've made a store. You sell old trinkets. You have several items that may improve our survival chances. Mask shard. So I guess that's like a heart piece. Vessel fragment. Oh, I don't even have the money for the piece of a soul vessel. Expands our magic meter, I guess. Okay. Simple key will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. Alright. So that gathers Geo. That's what the coins were called. Has a notch cost of one. Okay. Grants you more time to recover after taking damage. I guess that's more invincibility frames. Okay. Okay, so this is a light. It doesn't have a notch cost, it's just a lantern. The rancid egg. It probably does something? It's only 60. Whatever, we'll buy this. I don't think I want to buy any of the stuff that has a notch cost. It just it just doesn't seem good enough. Yeah, let's get a mask shard too. Yeah, so it's there in our inventory. And I guess... Oh, you can see... Alright, so you don't actually have to only use the L button to view the map. I've got that pretty mapped out now. The whole right side. Oh. That room off to the left. I've never actually explored there. Okay, that, that'll be where we go next time. Anyway, I think we can also buy more map making supplies. Although maybe I should save for that lantern. Uh, this is the tram. Or not tram, the... Why do I keep calling it a tram? It's a creature that carries you around. Cause it's... Cause I <gasps> keep thinking it's Valda's story. Actually, all of these pins are rather unexciting. Hmm. Do I, do I want the compass? Am I really gonna pay 220 and a notch? Uh, I'd like to at least get one of these markers as well. The hot spring marker. Yeah, let's buy the compass. I do have the one spare slot for it. I think it'll be better than the money gathering passive. Alright, so we can rest, we can equip our thing. We can look at our map. Whoa, we're on the map! If I check my other map. Yeah, there's a hot spring marked now. I wonder what the point of the hot spring is. If it's for healing, that's kind of silly because there's a bench right there. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this part. See ya!